Yeah, she said we're going to be playing a lot more faster pace. But, I mean, you see here still having that balance, right, being able to execute, run plays. Um, but any opportunity that they can have to get out and run, oh, she's definitely going to take it. Kai Carter slashing to the lane. Wanting to build the relationships, not only within the campus community, but within the surrounding area. And for her, it was as simple as learning how many towns in the region have the name Brunswick. Oh, and again, Smeichel forces the takeaway. Lafayette's got it this time. Gets it out for Schroeder, who's a knockdown three-point shooter. Just re really being able to take the steal away. Just got to fake a pass to make a pass, and that just can't happen on the inbound. Oh, look, pass between the freshmen, and it pays off. Bates diamond up Smeichel. That might have been some concerns they had in the past, but this is something that she's not worried about this year. Nifty move from Awa Sidibe, the baseline spinner. On the hardwood, they met back in the mid-70s a couple times. Rutgers won all three meetings, but now meeting again here in 2022. Oh, great look at passing. And in the end, Awa Sidibe puts it in. Stopped by Carter. And that was affected. Nicely done by Kai Carter recovering. Yeah, the length of her. I mean, she's six foot. I mean, she's a tall guard. Streeter, the trailer three. Inside again for Ross Barnes and gets that over Bates. And a second chance here for the Scarlet Knights after the Awa Sidibe offensive rebound. Here is the senior spinning to the elbow. That's so tough, but she got it anyway. Oh, yeah, that's her shot. Chance for Hofstra to make this a two-possession game. Can Thomas do that? Yes, she can. Her first bucket of the day. Rutgers going to have to put a pep in this step, kind of execute a little bit faster on the offensive end. So now the pride with a chance to make it a one-possession game, and they do as they look downstairs for Zahima Swint. Corner chance for Nicholson. Back of the rim. And now Sidibe on the runout. It's a two-on-two. Two. Euro step for two more. Seven of eight from the floor for Sidibe. Nicholson blocked. China Cornwell got all of it, but Nicholson takes it back. And Swint misses the layup. Second try is good. Hofstra feasting on the offensive glass. Just out rebounding Rutgers. They just got to do a better job of boxing and pushing them out so they can secure it. Block to block feed, and Cornwell rolls it in. Gooden. Off the Swint screen, open from three, and cans it. And Hofstra within two. Thomas straight on. It's a three, and Hofstra is back in front. Being able to step out and knock down that three is just huge. Double-double for Brandy Thomas with 10 points and 10 boards as China Cornwell spins Rutgers back to a tie. Sidibe in double figures with 10 points of her own. Oh, three more for the Pride. Hofstra outscoring Rutgers 6-2 in the fourth quarter, but Streeter stops that skid. Another three. Antonia Bates on the bench with three, but that's it with foul trouble right now for Rutgers. As the inbounds comes to Zanaya Ross Barnes using her height and length for two. As Ahima Swint comes back on the floor for Hofstra, and Kayleen Smeichel re-enters for Rutgers. Six to shoot here. Smeichel lines it up, cans it, and one! Have a moment, freshman! Got a little down on herself, had some turnovers and some mistakes. Ah, as you see there, tough bucket. Yeah, Ross Barnes got fouled, and now she has a chance for a three-point play. Yeah, absolutely. Looked like she settled, and you know, that's part of it. You know, a freshman coming out here, like we mentioned, they're going to play a lot of minutes, you know, so you kind of got to get over that early. Carter again hits a tough fadeaway from the elbow. Uh, the Pride with all their second chances and third chances could be leading by double digits. As Carter spins inside and gets the roll. See if the Pride have an answer. In the corner, Ineza, no. Again, an offensive rebound, and that time Swint capitalizes. Oh, yeah, right away. As Allery's good in the freshman, controls the offense. Eight to shoot. Thomas hoists. And connects! That's a tough contested three for the vet. Rutgers a perfect four for four at the line in the final 30 seconds. Up ahead, Swint 
from three. Backboard, no, and Rutgers hangs on to win. The first victory for Coquise Washington.